Welcome to Tiny Tours. I'm Paula Greer, a docent at the Meadows Museum. Today we'll be taking a look at the very last painting of the Spanish artist Mariano Fortuny y Marsal. It is entitled Beach at Portici and was painted in 1874. The painting is oil on canvas and measures 27 by 51 inches. Mariano Fortuny y Marsal was born in Catalonia, Spain in 1838. At the age of 14, he studied art at the Academy of Barcelona for four years before being awarded a scholarship that allowed him to study in Rome for two years. There he studied drawing and was introduced to the great works of the Renaissance and Baroque. Fortuny particularly appreciated the Venetian and Flemish painters, as well as the great masters of the Spanish school, El Greco, Rivera, Velázquez, and Goya. Fortuny was considered one of the most influential and best-selling Spanish painters of his day. During his lifetime and well into the early 20th century, he was popular in both Europe and the United States. Although his brief career was cut short by an untimely death at the age of 36, Fortuny's proto-impressionist style, as well as his genre scenes that were considered exotic by much of his audience, influenced so many artists that the style came to be described with this very own ism, Fortunyism, or in Spanish, Fortunismo. The artist lived a cosmopolitan lifestyle that seamlessly blended work with leisure, frequently traveling between southern Spain, Paris, Rome, Naples, and Venice. His very last painting, Beach at Portici, captures his ability to paint on plein air. Here, he shows his family enjoying a leisurely day at the beach while residing in Italy. It is a prime example of his skill of capturing light and paint. The dynamic composition is defined by strong diagonals and a balance of landscape, skyscape, and human figures. Loose and fluid brushstrokes capture nuances of light and the reflections of bright summer sun. The composition presents itself as a series of engaging painterly snapshots. On the left, the nude child with his back to the viewer playing in the sand, possibly Fortuny's young son. In the background, an attentive study of the rugged and weathered architectural ruins, while overhead, peaceful clouds, rendered in whites, blues, and pinks, float in the summer sun. And in the foreground, colorful daubs of paint along the bottom edge of the canvas show the Italian countryside in full bloom. The diagonals of the sea on one hand and of the whitewashed wall on the other hand draw the viewer deeper into the center of the painting while pulling forward the central protagonist of the composition. Two finely dressed ladies surrounded by a few young children who are undefined and partially hidden by the colorful vegetation. We know that this work is unfinished from a letter Fortuny wrote to a friend. In the letter, he explained it would take him another month to finish the canvas, but he was sure that he had already captured the feeling he wanted to express, that of a clear and happy summer among family and friends. He died before finishing the painting, but his works continued to inspire later generations of artists, from American painter William Mary Chase to Spanish artists Salvador Dali and Pablo Picasso. Thank you for listening. Please plan to join us for more of the Meadows Museum's Tiny Tours.